So Michael, um, again, thank you for um, for doing this um, great event. Thank you for coming back to FIU, I believe, after 22 years. Yeah. Um, what has changed at FIU? Everything. 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 I don't even recognize the place. What do? But all for what the good. What do you remember? But all for the good. Um, I remember the drive from Fort Lauderdale to this campus every day, um, mostly. Um, but it's it's just an incredible campus. I mean, I'm I'm so blown away by the progress that's been made here and the size of the student body and the um, the new schools, the medical school. I, it's just it's just amazing to me. So it's 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 eye opening, and uh, I hope to get back here a lot more. Um, I know you mentioned uh, a lot. Uh, you, you stress the emphasis on the Spanish consumer mm -hmm. in the future. How, how important do you think FIU is marketing-wise with marketing students? How do you think, how, how important do you think Miami is? Because Miami has a pretty big black community. Yeah. How important do you think that is for, um, as an example for marketers? Uh, oh, for I, oh I, I, look, I mean, this is one of the hotbeds for Hispanic marketing. I mean, even Outback's Hispanic marketing agency is in Miami. And so, um, you know, I think it's uh, it, this. If, if there are, if there are students that are interested in, in multicultural, particularly Hispanic marketing, um, you know, coming here um, is, is 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 a great uh, is a great place to get an education. But then there's opportunities here too when you graduate right in this town. And so, if you love Miami uh, and you want to be in, in um, Hispanic marketing, it's a great place to be. What advice would you give a young, uh, young college student? I know you didn't study marketing, but you've had an amazing career and you still have. You're still setting barriers. What advice could you give looking back on the experience you've been? Um, you know, I think, uh, look, I think it, it doesn't matter whether you're in marketing or, or accounting or whatever your major is. Um, there's no shortcuts and it's a lot of hard work. And, it, and it's that simple, it really is. I mean, I, I think that's, you know, if somebody said, you know, what's worked for me um, is, um, is just the realization of those things at an early age, that I was gonna have to step on every rung of the ladder, um, that I was gonna have to do all the things I didn't wanna do to be able to do the things that I wanna do someday. Um, and so it's just a lot of hard work. Uh, with Blooming Brands, where do you see Blooming Brands in 2020? Oh. I'd love for Blue and Brands in 2020 to be a six to eight billion dollar a year company. And uh, I'm guessing that's where it's going right now. With I, the I, if, if I have anything to do about it, <laughs> it will. Okay, awesome. Yeah, my, my pleasure. pleasure.